We learn how Gregory Green, the man charged with murdering his four children, earned his parole. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Two weeks to the day after the quadruple Dearborn Heights murders and the surprises just keep on coming. Well, listen to this, Devin. Gregory Green earned his parole eight years ago and the help came from the now grieving grandfather. Rod Maloney joins us now. He's got this part of the story. You've been on this from the start. And can you tell us more about this new and stunning revelation? Well, yes, it, it turns out that uh, Gregory Green, the man who's charged with murdering the four children, had a good relationship with his future father-in-law because he was also his pastor. And his father-in-law had gone to bat for him to get him out of prison on his first murder. Faith Green unexpectedly appeared in court today in a wheelchair, a puzzling question all along what and whether she knew about her husband's murderous past. Faith's ex and father of her two oldest children, Chadney Allen Sr., told Local 4 News the day after the carnage. I didn't know any of that, and I'm, I'm surprised. I'm so shocked. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, did she know about it? You know, how could she not know about it and be involved with someone like that? She had two kids with the guy. While it turns out Faith and her family knew well, Green served 16 years in state prison for stabbing his pregnant wife to death in 1996. MDOC documents chronicling Green's repeated attempts at parole show Faith's father, Apostle Fred Harris, seen here at the funeral, back to the camera and the gray hair, not only knew Green, but visited him in prison and even wrote support letters. In an August 2005 letter to the parole board, he said, quote, Gregory and I were friend before his mishap and he was incarcerated. I feel he has paid for his unfortunate lack of self-control and the damage he has caused as much as possible and is sorry. This will not restore the lives that were taken. He will carry that with him for the rest of his life. Then the next year he wrote, quote, while interacting with Gregory, I have noticed a great deal of growth and his understanding has matured quite a bit, end quote. Meantime, Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte is deeply concerned only two parole board members approved Green's 2008 parole. We'll look at it. I'm sure there'll be, there are a lot of interesting people uh, looking into this, and I'll be one of those. Usually it takes three people to sign off on a parole, but the first two had actually voted the same way, which means it was an automatic win in that particular case as it pertains to just that parole. So they'll be taking a look at that. But uh, it also it should be pointed out here that the father-in-law, Fred, Fred, was the pastor and it was part of his ministry to try and help out people in prison. And when he got out in 2008, Gregory Green, when he got out, uh, it was two years later that he married Fred's daughter. Back to you. So. I want to ask you, did Fred introduce Gregory Green to his daughter? I mean, have you been able to reach Fred Harris? They Well, they were in the same church together. We don't know the specifics of that, oh, Carmen. Uh, so and in she... fact, I, I reached out to Fred today to try and talk to him. We got him on the phone, and he said that he's just uh, desperately trying to pull his family together and, and deal with this terrible tragedy. But he said perhaps sometime down the road we can talk to him, and when we get that opportunity, we will certainly be asking that question. Yeah, I don't blame you. Or Rod Maloney reporting for us live.